This deal right here was just too good to pass up on. You guys know I have a debilitating disease that does not let me pass on good Lego uh, deals or whatever it may be from Walmart clearance, Target clearance, or even just general sales here in the community. Now, this is actually a haul I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Now, I do want to give a huge thanks to Brick Brothers 20 Lego sellers over on Instagram. I'll leave his link tree down below. I also believe he has a Bricklink store. He hooked it up with a phenomenal price on some of these guys that I've been waiting for for a very long time now. And the reason why I have decided to go ahead and get these now is because the clone troopers in here, yes, I know more clone troopers. It's sort of my thing here, but because the troopers in here only come in one set, that set came out in 2020 which is going to be over two years old in the summer and i have a feeling that it's going to be retiring at the end of this year so i decided to go ahead and put on my story i was looking for this particular trooper and i was actually able to go ahead and find a pretty sweet deal for them and i bought a decent amount of them which is bringing my personal collection to a good point where i'm comfortable with how many that i have so once again a huge thanks to brick brothers for hooking it up with a really really sweet deal i did pay way under market for these guys which is pretty good considering i'm gonna plan on be using these for a couple of different reasons i guess first off let's go ahead and get the unboxing actually started here now the good news is for those of you wondering this should be the last clone haul for a pretty long time i don't think i have anything large coming in anytime soon so so when we do return to regular haul videos they are going to be a little bit more more than just clone troopers but here everything came packaged super nicely which is nice you might even be able to see what they are from there so let's go ahead and get this opened so this is a clone trooper i think i only have about 10 maybe 15 ish going forward which isn't what i want because ideally i do want to make a siege of mandalore mock sort of obviously like what david did but a little bit of a different take at some point down the road not now but at some point and i figured these guys would be super important in fact you might have seen them in my minifigure display showcase that i did for i display it last week so in these two bags here we have 30 of the official 330 second troopers or the ahsoka troopers now these guys came in the aat they're still readily available however again this set is older and if you think about it the sets that came out in that wave the jedi interceptor the its transport other sets like that are retired so it's a very likely chance this is going to be going out soon but here is a little bit of a close look now the only really big thing about this is obviously the 330 second helmet that's the most important thing when it comes to this kind of stuff and for those who are wondering here is a business card this qr code all the socials and stuff like that again i'll leave a link down to the link tree um for brick brothers down below in the description but we ended up getting 30 of these and now i won't disclaim the exact price i got them for but it was a good enough price where they're you know i bought 30 of them which is which is fantastic and like i was saying before this is the actual set it comes in this is the 75280 aat armored assault tank this came out in 2020 like i was saying other sets in the wave have already retired and it's the only set to include the 330 second trooper down here so i believe the current market for the 330 second trooper is around 13 to 15 dollars but these are definitely guys i wanted to add to my collection i think now that we have 30 i'm gonna be really really close to having 50 which is the perfect sweet spot number for me i'm not really looking to army build these just because it's sort of impractical and it's also really expensive so if i can get around 50 of these at the end of the day before they retire i'll be super happy and i have also been stocking up on some of the AATs. I've actually been thinking about making a video discussing this and the 501st Battle Pack in terms of not necessarily investment and resale value, but just why you guys should be stocking up on these now because there's a good chance we don't ever really see these figures ever again for at least a really long time. So if you guys want to see a video like that, breaking down this and the 501st Battle Pack, drop a like down below. Again, a huge thanks to Brick Brothers. This is super clutch. I'm really happy to have these in the collection, finally having a good number that I'm comfortable with before they retire. So again, a huge thanks. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you drop a like down below and also subscribe. Go ahead and check out Brick Brothers down below in the description. And I'll See you later. Take it easy. Peace.